Okay, just left on the Awanda Passage Trail from uh, Rosa Green Road, a uh, little free parking area right there, and this trail goes a pretty long way. We're gonna do about six to seven miles, depending on how much um, video I shoot out here. I'm gonna put, put it back in my pack here in a little bit so I can cover some ground, but when the sun comes up, I'll shoot a lot more video. We're about a mile and a half in, moving pretty quickly. Uh, some clouds on the horizon, so the sun's not gonna really show itself for a little bit. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm shooting with, cause I always wonder when I watch vlogs, um, I've got a DJI Osmo 3 smartphone gimbal. Uh, I shoot the video with a iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, I find it to be perfect for what I do. And I use a Rode shotgun mic that I can go backwards or forwards with. So it's a lightweight little uh, setup that makes it really easy to shoot good video, tuck it away in the backpack, pull it out. And uh, then I've got this ultralight UB size uh, 60 inch tripod that I lash onto my backpack, so in case I need that. Flip up sunglasses. It's like what my dad used to wear, but I discovered them at Walmart a while back and they're really useful. I don't lose them, they're cheap, nine bucks. Uh, I, I have never really seen anybody wearing these in a long time, but I think they're ideal because I lose sunglasses, break them. These are cheap enough to do that with, although surprisingly I hang on to uh, them most of the time. And they're attached to my glasses. So it makes it really easy not to lose them. The sun is up, the clouds are gone. As Jeff Lynn famously put it, Mr. Blue Sky is living here today. I just saw a huge brown and gray owl flew across the trail um, and then into the trees. Um, biggest owl I've seen in a long, long time. I love seeing owls. Also catching a lot of spider webs. The trail swings away from uh, the water for a good ways and goes through the woods. And I hate spider webs too. I ended up going all the way to Buck Hall Landing, campground, boat landing. Um, so from where I started this morning, that's four miles. Going back, it'll make it eight. And uh, it'll be brighter, so I'll take, I'll take more and better video on the way back. About a mile left to go. It's been really nice. Haven't seen one person on this whole trip. Uh, that's the beauty of um, weekday mornings. I've been able to keep my feet dry most of this hike, but uh, I just club footed into some deep mud, so now I've got a completely soaked foot, but oh well. Um, generally, you can keep dry if you're watching what you're doing, and uh, you got to, you know, kind of tightrope across branches and things here and there that people have thrown in, but uh, I mean, it's been a while since it's rained really hard, so it's still pretty muddy, I expect that. at the parking lot, eight miles. Um, you can go any length you want, go out 
10 minutes and come back, go out 30 minutes and come back. Uh, the first part of the trail is along the marsh. So that's really the nicest part. So um, this is a great running trail. If you're looking for a trail run, this is it. Awendaw Passage. The Awendaw Passage Trail is maybe 23, 24 miles out from the bridge in uh, Mount Pleasant. And uh, maybe a mile past Awendaw, you take a right on Rosa Green, super easy access. Take that right to the end, and there's a small parking lot uh, right at the trailhead, and uh, take off on the trail. Um, if you like this video, then like it. And uh, please subscribe to uh, the channel, and I'm going to be putting out more Low Country content. Um, again, thanks a lot for watching.